What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And today, what we're going to be talking about are the Harvest players and the 93 overalls that probably a lot of you guys are assuming that I would probably go back to Patrick Mahomes from Cam Newton, but you guys are wrong. Before I get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys to please go ahead and like the video. Let's get the video up to about 900 likes. Just, you know, whatever, man. Get it up higher if you want to, but use any part of your body to go ahead and like the video. It's definitely appreciated. So, this is what's happening, right? If you guys have watched the live stream already, the live, did I just say live stream? The live stream, if you guys have watched my live stream, I went through all of the Turkey Bowl and I played it and I got my free 93 overall and I chose, dun da 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 dun 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 dee dun dun dee dun 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 All right, that was way too much trumpet. We chose, we chose Darius Slay Jr., okay? Now, the reasoning behind choosing him for our free nat, obviously we're going to put him into the set to get LT, and then ultimately I'm thinking that we still are going to go after Walter Sweetness Payton, because a lot of you guys want that action, you want to see what he's about, but we're going to probably complete this guy first. So we use our free 93 overall player on Darius Slay, he's a nat because you get him from the solos, and then you know we got to get four more, which we should be able to easily attain after the additional things that we got from the solo. I'm going to show you about that in a second, but I'm going to break it down for you really quickly, especially some of you guys that are asking, you know, why do I think this is one of the best promos ever? Okay, look, pretty much the, the, the most recent promos that they gave us were absolute garbage, and it was pretty much all about spending money, et cetera, et cetera. This right here gives you a decent amount of things, and this is what's already been completed. So it, it gives you, like I said, the free 93 overall nat, right? You get that card, and then you get a lot of other things that go into it, either by the MUT, um, you get your MUT rewards. Hopefully you guys are signed up for MUT rewards. That is MUTrewards.com. Do not go to any other site because a lot of sites are trying to steal your information. It's phishing, stuff like that. If you want to be sure that you are on the right site, go to at EA Sports on Twitter or at EA Sports underscore MUT. They are both verified. Do not give your information to anyone other than somebody that is verified within the EA Sports uh, situation because I've seen way too many people get scammed and it's very annoying and I feel for those guys. But in some cases, we can do a lot more to protect ourselves a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So we've done this. We got the 40 solos done. We got the free 93 overall um, and it's Slay. Now, I looked at everybody else's cards. Nobody else is really, really that impressive. All right, I'm going to break it down for you really quickly. Then I'm going to go to ultimately show you why I chose Slay. All right, here goes all the stuff that's going on. These are the all-stars, right? This guy, um, he's just not enough. Like, look, you know, you guys are throw power, all that stuff. He's just not enough. I love me some Patrick Mahomes. All right, I love me some Patrick Mahomes. He's just not the guy that I'm looking for right now uh, with Cam Newton. That I already have Cam Newton. Is Cam Newton going to overthrow a lot of passes? Yes, he is, but I'm going to stay with him right now. I'm not going back and getting Mahomes. Um, right here with the Turkey Bowl offensive all-star, Alvin Kamara. He's pretty good, but he only maxes out at a 94 speed with the John Madden coach and sprinter. Obviously, if you have you know multiple New Orleans players, you can get him up to a 97 speed. Adam Thielen, just not fast enough. Jason Peters, just not fast enough. He's a slow, fat animal in this game. I would avoid him. Jerome McCoy, if you've already been powering him up, go for it. Jarrell Casey, decent, but I'm not going to replace... Uh, what, what position is this guy for? I think he is my... Uh, I could, Aaron Donald plays this position, right? I believe. Yeah, we're not doing that. Miles Jack, I already told you I raid sold him. We're not going backwards. And this guy right here can be a 99 zone corner. So what does he have in common with Chris Harris? Nothing, bro, he's faster and he has 99 zone. Um, what does that mean for me? Bro, I always tell you guys, speed is key. Always in Madden. Even when the speed doesn't really mean much, they still have it so that speed still, you know what I'm saying? It's better for him to be faster than to be slower. So let's take a look at his power up, right? We already, we're already going to have this item because uh, we're going to complete one of the sets and get it back, right, as a nat. So we're going to already have this item. Now, when you see that right there, 93 speed, so he's going to be 96 speed with John Madden coach and our sprinter camp, so he's 96 speed. Then you see that five, he's going to have 99 zone coverage. He's going to get three from lockdown plus one from John Madden, all right? That's more than enough for me. I don't need to see nothing else, all right? I'm going to tell you, I don't care what his other stuff is, what he's doing. I don't care how aware he is because they all are stupid. When they throw the ball, they're either going to not react or they're going to react. That's no matter what the zone is, whatever. But the biggest thing about Chris Harris that made him really good was that it was it was that he was able to have that 99 zone so now that that is no longer an issue um what's going to happen is 
the training points that I put into him, it's like, bro, do I abandon? Because it was like 8,200 training points. That's the thing about it. You know, as you go through and you pick your cards, what you want to do. But I'm serious about mines, though. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I really get it in, though. Like, I'm not going to be that guy like, yeah, you know, um, we should probably. No, bro, dude's getting rage sold ASAP. So what I'm going to do is I have to wait because you guys got over the 800 likes that was necessary. Once I get Miss Jemaya ready to go, we're going to pull our bundle, right? After we pull our bundle, what we're going to do from that point is we are going to, uh, you know, we're going to see what's going on with uh, Chris Harris. We're going to see how we're going to work it out. But it seems kind of weird, but it looks like we might actually have to get rid of Marshawn Lattimore. <laughs> you know, like, it's, you know, it's kind of weird because 8,200 training points is a lot of training points to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying, bro? And this guy is 99 zone, and then we can make the other guy 99 zone, and then Deion Sanders can just do whatever he wants. You see what I'm saying? Like, now that I think about it, we can actually sell Marshawn Lattimore's flashback and just whatever because he has a 95 zone. If we're looking for that 99 zone coverage and a 96 speed, Lattimore is going to give us the best option, but it's going to be kind of crazy because we're getting rid of Ladder Daddy. But now that I think about it, bro, it would make no sense because we have the, um, the Team Diamond, right? We would get coins back for the Team Diamond, but I think Marshawn Lattimore would, would hold the better value. And give us the better chance. And obviously, once Dion gets his upgrade, we're going to have just all three 99 zones. More than likely, Marshawn Lattimore, without adding the additional Saints chems, won't get an upgrade that'll give him that 99 zone for a little bit. So we could literally be running around with two 99 overall uh, 99 zone corners. And then ultimately, Adrian Amos, like, you know, this guy, the way we have him set up right now, he's what does he have? He has like a 98. All right, so... You know, it's give or take. We could have kept Barry. I didn't want Barry. I went with the speed instead. So, you know, it works out for me in that regard. But it just looks like Slay. If we put Slay out there, right? Because you can see I start Lattimore because when I run my nickel, it's just easier because Deion Sanders is my nickel. Uh, I use him as my nickel corner blitzer. Um, it will just be easier for me if I were to raid sell Marshawn Lattimore and just, you know, whatever. Because, like I said, I love him, but I love 99 zone more. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it is what it is. What do we owe? Oh, um, hold on. Let me, let me just check it out real quick. Let me just check it out and see what he would be going for. Cause this dude slay like, bro, he's a okay. You know what I'm saying, bro? In my book, he's just a okay. As a matter of fact, we should sell that Mahomes card. Cause I think the core elite is going for like a hundred K, but let me see. What is it? Lattimore, Lattimore, Lattimore. Let's see what's going on with that. Lattimore. We're going to see what's going on. Cause it seems kind of weird that I would do this, but like I told you, I'm about results, bro. So let's see what, what's his price looking like. See, look how much he dropped already. He's down to 251 already. So he's already lost all his luster. So anybody that's pulling him now, look, a guy has him at a bid price of 65K. Oh, no, that's that's the uh, elite. All right. Yeah, so he's like 250. So do we take, we could take the 250, right? Use that to further uh, get, you know, slate up to par. You know what I'm saying, guys? And then we just, we build on that because how do you get the best ultimate team? You got to, look, I'm not loyal to any of my players except for Randy Moss. And that's like sometimes I'll get wild on them. Um, Randy Moss, and if they were to give Calvin Johnson a physical chem slot, maybe Calvin Johnson. Um, Deion Sanders, I'm a little loyal to. But these guys, I know that all the corners pretty much play the same. So if you want to believe whatever you want to believe that it matters, that, you know, what you know, however it is, the only thing I could tell you is that the speed thing, it really, really is important. Speed and zone will keep your corner in the best possible position all the time. So that's something that I really want to urge you guys to pay attention to. So you can see last week he was like 500 something K. Now he's all the way down to 251. Everybody realized what's going on. So that's something that you could consider. Now, I don't see him dropping too much more than this simply because it's still the training point value. All right. So in my position, once I complete uh, Lawrence Taylor, and we, it depends on what we get out of our packs. Because if we start getting glitchy packs and my wife gets glitchy, it's going to be on and piss knopping. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. Keep in mind, though, also, you guys have daily solos that you should be doing. So these turkey tour solos, these are limited time daily solos that every, every, every day you're going to get three. Okay? And for every three that you do, you're going to get one whatever. So you got to score a 25-yard field goal. You got to score a 32-yard field goal. So you could just do these pretty easily. They're going to give you different ways to get it. And you're going to get, you know, flyers and all that other kind of stuff that you can use in other sets. I've already explained how you can do all that. 
in uh, my video explaining you know everything about the promo but pretty much you want to make sure that you're getting everything out of the dailies and in addition you have that other separate section that you have 22 other solos you can do which I'll show you after these are done so as you move forward with your team you'll notice after I'm getting LT because Telvin Smith is getting raid sold well not raid sold but we're gonna use them for training points or whatever right and uh, we're gonna build up LT with that and we're gonna continue to go forward with that situation okay if the player is better and overall it fits the scheme that you're running, it doesn't matter what I'm looking for. What you, you know what I'm saying? What do you want? I know I want my players to have 99 zone. And I know it's all in my head because they're going to all be idiots at the time you need them the most. But I just want 99 zone. You see what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. It, it's nothing else behind it. It's nothing like a secret or whatever. I tell you guys, I look at the aspects of what the cards can bring to it. Uh, you know bring to the table and because I'm gonna be doing the set and getting back five gnats That's huge that really works out for everybody because not only can you power up the whole player using the other um, You know the other four guys that you're gonna get back as Nat. It, it just makes it much better because now you feel you're getting something back Especially if your team is not really up to par the way you want it now You have the opportunity to do just that so I think with this promo EA has really listened uh, to you know to all of our complaints and we've all been fighting together to try to get these basic things that other cards have. So with all of that together, I think right now having that speed of the 96, having Deion Sanders at 97, I think that that's very huge because remember, even if I decide to play nickel and I put Chris Harris in 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 the slot position, that zone and man is still really good. And overall, because he's, it's just weird because Lattimore is a 95 speed. So now it just looks like I'm going crazy for plus one speed and a little bit more zone. But yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Like, bro, yeah, yeah. I'm going crazy for like four. What is it? What is he at? What is his zone? Like, I think he has like a 95 zone. Lattimore does. I don't know. I'm on the fence, bro. Like, I'm really about to just raid sell him. Unless you guys can convince me otherwise, do might have to get raid sold for Slay. Now, most of you guys, while I was streaming, uh, doing the solos for the Turkey Bowl, you were telling me that Slay is garbage. But you guys got to understand, you guys are only saying that because you hear me say it all the time in the videos. You don't really mean it. The same way I don't really mean that all these guys are garbage. But we would have to test it out. And because we're getting him back as a gnat, I don't see why we wouldn't test him out. You see what I'm saying? Like, why would we not test him out if we're getting him back as a gnat? We're going to have to figure out who we can power up in what position. But right now, I just feel like I'm overstacked that corner. Because Deion Sanders is going nowhere. So somebody has to go. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, do we, do I sacrifice 8,200 training points for Latigo? That's a lot of training points, dudes. Like, that is just way too much, man. I'm sorry. That, that, that's just wild and ridiculous. You know what I'm saying, guys? That, that's way, uh, that's how they get, like, even with OBJ. Like, OBJ, I want to get rid of him too, but he cost me so many training points instead of his primetime performer. And before you guys say anything about why I want to get rid of him, I want to get rid of him simply because he will drop, he will tip the ball, you will throw it to him wide open, and he will just tip it off his fingertips. It's so stupid, but that's what he'll do. And it's really, really weird. I'm getting sick and tired of it. So he might be gone ASAP, but there's so many other things that I'm trying to do to continue to build the God Squad. I'm really on it, guys, heavy, just trying to make sure that I give you guys the best content, the best Mutt team, everything that you guys are looking for. So that's something I'm going to consider. I want to know in closing. Do you think, which way do you think I should go? I want to hear your feedback. Do I keep Ladder Daddy? Like, is Ladder Daddy, like, indispensable? And then we get rid of Chris Harris and we sacrifice the 8,200 training points. Or get rid of Ladder Daddy and go slay. Let me know as soon as possible. I'm going to let you guys see what happens with these dailies right now because everything gets locked until the next day. I just want to make sure you guys understand what's going on with it. And then I'm going to let you guys go. And, um, you know, continue to get your solos done, everything like that, and go from there. So you should be getting a flyer right now, I believe, uh, for doing the three. Um, so there goes right there the turkey fly, which can be used in sets. And then now everything is off. So this will come up in 24 hours, and everything is already set to unlock. This, on the other hand, you get um, you get 22 challenges, and then the final one unlocks on 11:22, And you can get 26K and 12 packs, items, whatever. All right, so that's pretty much right there. You got to do your backyard games. In addition to that, doing your backyard games will help you complete your objectives and mutt level. Uh, that's part of this right here. That'll help you complete that. And then you got to buy, you know, a harvest player from the auction house and then you'll get a harvest alternate uniform. That's part of the objectives right there. All right.
Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. If you forgot to like so far, please do so before you leave. Until next time, one love.